That's a big one. That's a big one. The biggest one of the day, dude. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the Mystery Tackle Box channel. It is your host, Weston Smith. I'm out here with my buddy, Nick. What's going on, Nick? Hey, guys. We're actually taking him fishing for one of the first times not using live bait. We're gonna be fishing artificial lures straight from Mystery Tackle Box itself. We're gonna be throwing them out of this month's box. We've got a few things rigged up for you guys, and hopefully we can put them on some big bass. I'm not quite sure what your biggest bass even is right now, or if you have a clue. He's a, <laughs> there we go. She said like an eight pounder. Or <laughs> he said, he said dink. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna hopefully put them on a two pounder, three pounder, four pounder conditions. Uh, they're not looking they're not looking great right so it's gonna be a challenge this is very murky what we had was a bad thunderstorm the other night and you know how it gets after those storms they like to kind of go out deep shelter themselves but maybe with these fall temperatures the sun is out it's a little warm they're up shallow feeding we're gonna hope that's the case so we're gonna grab a few lures we're gonna tie them on we're gonna get started and uh nick i hope you can catch them man because uh it's gonna be tough let's do it Ooh, it's a little breezy All right, y'all, so here's what I'm thinking. We're gonna start things off with the Metanium DC, so a little bit of that digital chip breaking for these high winds. Nick hasn't casted a ton of bait casters in the past, but today we're gonna let him use it on the go-to rod, which is that seven foot medium heavy fast action, perfect for just about everything in this month's box. That's gonna be the move, y'all, so we'll see what happens. I think we got probably 15 pound fluorocarbon on here, great all-purpose line, and we got a little bit of a swim bait that's about to get untied because we got mystery tackle box baits, baby. No way, no way. Dude, off camera, first cast. I casted the spinner bait out here real quick because it's so murky. We really need some flash, and I had a bass on the hook, and I'm like, "Oh no, this is not this is not part of it. I'm just showing you how to work this spinner bait." And then he just missed a bite, so we got him GoProed up. I'm gonna go ahead and rig up myself. Hopefully, we can tag team this thing and get some big fish. But anyways, the one that we had on the hook that came off just now was like close to two pounds. Could have been his PB right off the bat. <sighs> Let's see what happens. So you might hit some grass and feel like right, it's a bite. Yeah, I kind of felt. Yep, yeah. Yep. God, yeah. oh, oh, God. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Dude, that thing felt a lot bigger than it looks. They, Man, when it hit. It's going so slow and they I thought I set a record, bro. I'm like, dude, I set a record on my first day. Did he hit it close to the bank? Oh, it was like right, right there. Freaking smashed it, dude. That's so sick. That's right. I got him in the hook grip. <laughs> got him in the hook, hook grip. grip. We hit CrossFit, <laughs> so we're talking about that barbell strength. That's that's he laid the hammer down on that hook set. Oh, he yeah. flung that thing out of the water. First of many, hopefully. We're gonna get this puppy back in the water. Release, baby. Oh, that was awesome. Man, he, there he goes in the grass. He hit it so hard, dude. That was sick. I would have sworn I was like a 10-pounder. In this month's box, a lot of stuff was geared towards some clear water, and this spot is extremely stained. So we may do a little bit of pond hopping here and see if there's some more ideal water for everything in the box. I've got a drop shot rigged up though. This could actually work. I'm gonna start throwing this. If I have a go-to or a reaction rod, that's what I'm gonna throw it on. I forgot exactly what rods we brought down here to the bank with us, but <laughs> let's get them rigged up and in the water. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Might be a little shallow for this thing, but we're about to find out. Oh, that's the bottom. I'll have you use this next. It's fun. It's just a constant reel. And the, uh, these yellow colors are really popular for like water that looks like chocolate milk like okay. this. If you're throwing in clear water, we would throw something that looks a little bit more natural. But this pops right. and they're just like anything they see today, they're probably smoking it. I tried it. These little things. Yeah, I was going to say throw in this one. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that's that's good. Yep, nice and steady. Rod tip a little bit lower. He's close to the surface. I can see him. Got one? You got one. Flip them up here. What are we working with? What are we? Oh, dude, that's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, okay, easy now because we got these treble hooks. Oh, dude. Hey, maybe he's barely hooked. Right out of the box, bro. That's a good one. Definitely the biggest bass right here. This is a PR, lifetime PR right here. That's, that's crazy. So hey, so in fishing, we say PB, personal PB, best. PB, in yeah, lifting, yeah. we say PR, personal record. <laughs> so cross, we say, cross fishing. Yeah, yeah dead cross lifts fishing. and big bass, baby. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> that's yeah. solid though. That, that could be close to two pounds. He's really? pretty plump. He's a little shorter than most two pounders, but the thing is this one's pretty plump. They're feeding up in fall. You guys got to get out and start fishing. Man, that's, this is exciting. That's awesome. Oh yeah. We're going to get a nice little steady release for y'all. Second one, that's on the bait from the box. Let's go. MTB hooking us up. That's awesome. It, it, hit it hard, it just was on my line. It's a little bit different than the spinnerbait bite, right. isn't it? Yeah. yeah, that's what you'll notice with the cranks. If it's if it's a big one, sometimes they hammer it. You know right off the bat. It starts taking some drag and you're like, oh, what do I have here? Oh, dude. It could get tricky. There we 
There we go, biggest one of the day. Yep. <laughs> yeah, like a 500. <laughs> That's yeah. funny. It's fun. Yeah, put him in here with the big, the bigger ecosystem. He's happy you caught him. We just transferred him from the small pond to the bigger pond. <laughs> that was, dude, that was fun. <laughs> Let's go try that top one next. All right, y'all, we might hop to another location here in just a moment, but uh, Nick's, now he's got some numbers on the crankbait. We're gonna hop back over to the bigger body of water and see if we can get him a true giant because based on the law of pond size right here, it's a smaller ecosystem. There's probably smaller and less bait for these fish to feed on. There's probably less opportunity for them to grow large, obviously. And something that's the square footage of like it's crazy we caught a bass just out of that one little part and and as we walked up here you're saying like you wouldn't even suspect oh, this no, big fished. pond to be fishable it's funny when you're out here filming these videos there's always people saying like there's actually fish in there <laughs> it's uh it's comical for now we're gonna hit the sunny side of this spot see if we can't crank a, a big one oh i joined the game i'm in the action there we go <laughs> finally next three to my one man I had to break out the spinner bait and get a little flash for him to hit. It's a young tyke, but that's okay. Look, he got he got hooked on the outside of the mouth. He thrashed at it. Instead of getting the meal, it got him. That's funny. Oh, dude, you just spooked a big one. That was a big one. Oh my God, did you see that swirl? Dude, catch that thing right there. That wasn't no turtle. I like turtles. Ladies and gents, the bite slowed just a hair. We even threw out the dadgum drop shot, not even a sniff. We're gonna head down the street, hit some ponds. I have caught some big ones in the past. We're on four fish so far. We're going for uh, we're going for the bag, man. We're going for at least five fish. We got about an hour before sunset. That does not include the drive to get to the next location. So yeah, we're trying our best out here in Texas. Bring that back. And I'm gonna get in here with that something else real quick got him got him nice okay be easy now because this is lighter gear so when you get him close i'll just grab him okay nice catch bro yes dude drop shot <laughs> there you go yeah. let's go ahead and get him back in the water ladies and gents that's the first one at spot number well i guess it's spot number two but it's like pond number 10 if you count all the little stuff we hit clear water dude that's sick that's awesome all right y'all so that's pretty much a slam out of the box so now what we're gonna do is i want to see if we can catch a big one on the chatter bait right here I have a feeling Nick is going to love this because he was enjoying fishing the crankbait. All this stuff is just brand new to him. So you all know chatterbait is just a fish catching machine. The water's a little bit clearer here. This is a nice natural color and it's just great for shallow water. It's, it's almost the perfect pond bait, a bladed jig. So I'm rigging him up right now with a Palomar knot. He's fishing that drop shot, but I have a feeling there might be some that are willing to chase this guy right here and we can get him a good one. I've done it a lot. <laughs> oh, you got him? That's nice, either, dude. Right? That thing is that freaking worm is bigger than him. That's one for the fish tank. We just grabbed this little guy. We uh, tried to demonstrate a sight fishing drop shot catch at our first clear water spot. It was a success, but I was not rolling. So little tyke, he hit the worm right out of the box. See you, son. Oh my god, I got a little bit of uh, backlash, so I tossed it all the way out there. Started reeling it in, dude. I think I uh, let a big one go. Yeah, they, something had it and spit it out. I think no I. I think I didn't hit set the hook hard enough. I'm gonna throw that. Usually I, I don't throw yellow unless it's like really dirty water. But I'm gonna try that yellow thing you were doing earlier and see if I get something. Keep working it, keep working it. You might get something, follow it. Oh hey, I got one. Bro, I got a decent one. I got a good one. Dude, you gotta fish this crankbait now. I got a good one, bro. This might be the biggest one of the day. He's going wild. We got us a nice one on the crank. This one's, oh, uh, whoa, golly, that was risky. That, that's probably two and a half to three right there. <laughs> dude, that's awesome. So, solid one. I don't know why the chatterbait's not working, but apparently the fish are loving chartreuse today, ladies and gents. So that's the color you need in your tackle box. There's fish around here. Had one, <laughs> little guy. That's the thing with the drop shot. I'm gonna get the little ones while you catch the big one. That's a good cast though. Whenever you do bring that one in, it'll be good. Oh, son, you got him? Is he fighting? Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Hey, walk over here. There's rods behind you, but walk over here. Yep, 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 yep. Just keep it nice and tight. Don't go too crazy. I want, you, I want to get you a little bit lower. Nice work. Oh man, here we go. This might be the biggest one. Oh shoot, yeah, he's good, he's good. You're gonna have to work him with that rod a little bit. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that's a good one, bro. That's a good one. And I don't remember if this is the thick line or the white line. Oh my I'm gosh. Get down and pick him up. Oh man, come here, son. Oh, this water's cold, bro. Oh, this water's cold. Biggest one of the day, dude. Let's go. I'm sinking. I got it. My sandal's stuck in like, oh. 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 We did it. Oh my gosh. 
Y'all, this is like, this is light line I spooled up on here for crankbaits. I think it's like 10 pound line. I did not want Nick to try and flip that thing up here. Done like dinner, Nick. Dude, that's what a monster a fish. right there. Dude. That's, that's the so map. awesome. I highly oh. recommend uh, Weston Smith Charter Tours. We crushed it all day. <laughs> and so jumped crazy. in the water. <laughs> <laughs> that stuff must be like, I'm surprised it's not frozen solid, oh, dude. That's so idea. cold. Like, we only had her out of the water for a minute. Let's get her right back in there. Cruising off into the sunset, y'all. Barely any light left. What a day. There's even a little blotch of water on that GoPro screen, y'all. That'll do it, folks. We're going to go ahead and catch up with you guys at the car for the recap. What a day. Nick, it's been a ton of fun. Dude. Thank Hopefully you. another time again soon. Oh yeah, for sure dude. There you have it y'all. What a day getting out there with my buddy Nick who has really hardly broken out bait casters at all in the past. Fish very few artificial lures and to get him out there catching a bunch of fish was truly too much fun. You gotta think back to your first time fishing a chatterbait or a crankbait and catching a fish on a new lure and how exciting it gets. Anyways, what a day. MTB, thank you guys so much for offering up the channel for the day. Everyone, be sure to drop that subscribe to the Mystery Tackle Box channel and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.